Second Samuel, chapter three. Now there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, the nation divided. But David waxed stronger and stronger. And the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. And that's the first time weaker shows up in the Bible. And the other place it shows up is 1 Peter 3, 7. Three times. Weaker and weaker. And then 1 Peter talks about the woman, the wife, being a weaker vessel. So that's describing the household of Saul as women. Though strength. And unto David were sons, sons born in Hebron. And this is going to be, you know, you say, well, where's the rest of his children? This is Hebron. Of his firstborn was Amon, of Ahunama, the Jezreelites. And his second, Chilib, of Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelites. She can't get rid of that title. And the third, there's the bad boy, Absalom. That's the first time that name shows up. He's going to cause David much trouble. The son of Micah, Micah the daughter of Talmai, king of Geshurim. And the fourth, Adonijah, another troublemaker. The son of Haggadah. And the fifth, Shephatiah. The son of Abital, and the sixth, a threem, by Egla, David's wife. These were born to David in Hebron, while he reigns in Hebron. And it came to pass, while there was war between the house of Saul and the house of David, that Abner made him strong for the house of Saul. Now remember, Abner is on the side of Saul. He has taken Saul's son, Ishbaneth, and made him king. You've got two kings. You've got two nations. They're separated. David's getting stronger. Ishbaneth is getting weaker. And Saul had a concubine whose name was Rispa, and she'll show up in 2 Samuel 21 8. The daughter of Aya, and Ishbaneth said to Abner, Wherefore hast thou gone in unto my father's concubine? Accusing Abner of foul play. Then was Abner very rough with the words of Ishmanith and said, Am I a dog's head? That's the first time dogs, plural, I mean, uh, possessive shows up. Am I a Gentile? Am I an unclean animal? He said, You know what? He said, You know you what you just you know what you just called me? You call me Phil. You call me a, a Gentile. You call me an unclean animal. Which against Judah do show kindness this day unto the house of Saul, thy father. Listen, I'm on your side. To his brethren, you, and to his friends, and have not delivered thee into the hand of David, that thou charges, only time that word shows up, me today, with fault concerning this woman. Listen, you know what, King? I could have just turn you over to David. Acknowledging David's throne. I protected you and I protected the friends of your father. I protected the family of your father. And you're going to say about this woman, I had relations? I'm a dead dog. I'm an unclean animal, if that's true. So do God to Abner. More also, except as the Lord has sworn to David, even so I do to him. Now he's going to allegiance for David. He's acknowledging God is with David and not Saul. To translate, that's the only place that word shows up. Translate. The kingdom from the house of Saul, and to set up the throne of David. All right. All right, I'm going to finish this up, Ishmaelis. We're getting rid of your father's kingdom. I'm going to give it to David. Because you charged me with an unclean act. Over Israel and over Judah. He's going to bring Israel and Judah together. As one people. Under David. 
from Dan, that's very north, even Bathsheba, that's very down south. Notice the beer. That means well. Beer in the Bible means well. And you know why they call it beer if they know it or not today? You know how much water it takes to make beer? Much. And he could not answer Abner a word again because he feared him. Now that's how that's how angry Abner got. It's when it's like, I can't talk to him no more. And the threat that he put, hey, I'm all done with you. And Abner sent messengers to David on his behalf. Abner. Saying, who, whose is the land? Saying also, make thy league with me. And behold, my hand shall be with thee. And to bring about all Israel today. Listen. All right. Let's put everything away now. King David, I'm coming to you. I will bring Israel and we will join under your authority. Ishmanish, in the house of Saul. Nope. No more. And he said, well, yes. I will make a league with thee. And on the last league you talked about was in the book of Judges with Joshua made a league with the inhabitants of the land. This is a good league. But, it's David in his butt. One thing I require of thee, that is, thou shalt not see my face, except thou first bring Michael, Saul's daughter, when thou comest to see my face. This has been bothering David. That's my wife. But you abandoned her. And David sent messengers to Ishbanish, Saul's son, saying, Deliver me my wife, Michael, which I espoused, first time that word showed up, to me for a hundred foreskins of the Philistines. Now in 1 Samuel 18, 25 and 27, Saul said a hundred foreskins, but remember David brought 200 to be sure. And it's amazing how many times the Bible mentions this part of the body. Circumcision, uncircumcised, to be circumcised. And there it is. And he did. He paid the dowry for the, for the woman. And Ishbanish sent now this is the king that's been sent after Saul. And he is giving in to King David. He has surrendered the kingdom over to King David. Say, you know, bring me my wife. And Ishmael is like, okay. What? Hmm. Well, it's all given to David now. Abner said something or Abner did something to the Ishmael. It's like, that's it. I can't win now. Because what if he did? Who would be on Ishmael's side? After Abner grabs all of Israel and says, okay, we're under King David. Now, David would have Judah and Israel under his control. All right, here's his one man, Ishmael, fighting the kingdom. He's got the entire nation against him. I better give in. And that's exactly what he does. And notice. You're going to see, we're, we're going to cut this chapter short tonight. This is going to be a two-part chapter. But the story of Ishbanish is not yet over. Because something's going to happen in Ishbanish that shouldn't happen. Early books of uh, 2 Samuel. So, David sent messages to Ishbanish, Saul's son, saying, Deliver me my wife, Michael. Which I espoused to me for a hundred foreskins of those things. Ishbanish sent and took her from her husband. She was already remarried. And Ishbanish acknowledges the fact without a fight the hundred foreskins of those things. It was common knowledge. Can you imagine the women that would be talking about Michael at the water well? Hey, did you hear what David got her for with? And she had remarried. Even from Pathetil, the son of Laish. 
And her husband went with her, along weeping behind her to Bethlehem. Then said Abner unto him, Oh, well, look at that. Ishmael is sent and got the wife. Abner's bringing her to David. So they're in unity on this part. It's David's kingdom. And Abner said unto him, The husband, go return. And he returned. Oh, my honey, oh, I'm so sorry. You better get out of here. Bye. See ya. Go on. Bye. What a wimp. And Abner had communication, that's the first time that word shows up, with the elders of Israel, saying, Ye sought for David in times past to be king over you. Did you see what that verse said? The people of Israel are already trying to usurp the authority out of Saul. They wanted David king. But they did not fight against the government. They did not get signs against the government. They didn't get a talk radio. If they had talk radio against the government, they just went along with the idea. And they probably prayed to God. And they just, you know what? Saul's the king and there's nothing we can do about it. Now David, he's king. And they're all for it. Christians in America need to realize what the Bible says about rulership. You don't like it? Pray to God. And pray for the leader. You know, if there's a leader that you don't like, the best thing you can do, you can get together in unity. You can say, we can pray for that guy's soul and get him saved. If not, well, at least you tried the best. He sought for David in times past to be king over you. Now then do it. Let's do it. It's time. For the Lord has spoken of David saying, By the hand of my servant David, I will save my people Israel out of the hand of Philistine and out of the hand of their enemies. All their enemies. Now you see why David was hated among the Philistines? Now, he said, I paid a hundred foreskins. He, he killed 200 men for one woman. He knocked down their giant for the nation of Israel in the name of God. He killed Philistine. And they're like, you're going to go to war for us? And you've been killing us. Now then do it. For the Lord has spoken of David, saying, by the hand of my servant. Look at it. David is God's servant. David, I, God speaking, will save my people Israel out of the hand of Philistines and out of the hand of all their enemies. And Abner, remember that's Saul, also spake in the ears of Benjamin. That's Saul's family. You know who, where, you know, how do I say this? Do you know what's in Benjamin? The city that will be called Jerusalem. Benjamin will be will be swallowed up by Judah. In Benjamin, there's a place called Bethlehem. It'll be all swallowed up in Judea. Judea becomes the main frame as Israel becomes north. But Benjamin. And Abner went also to speak unto the ears of David. In Hebron, that's where David's capital is himself. All that seemed good to Israel, and that seemed good to the whole house of Benjamin. So Abner came to David to Hebron, and twenty men with him. And David made Abner and the men that were with him a feast. So it's for good. It's been approved by the king. And Abner said unto David, I will rise and go. And will gather all Israel to my Lord, the king. Look at that. He's putting all authority under David. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to petition the people. I'm going to talk to them. You're the king. Because I made Ishmael king. I got to I gotta go out and fix my error. And I got to tell them under God, it's you, David. That they may make a league with thee. That thou mayest reign over all thy heart's desire. 
Now, here's the important verse, and we're going to close. And David sent Abner away, and he went in peace. And we're going to get to another part of this chapter, of this, this part of this chapter. And we got to do this another night. Because we got two great events coming up in chapter 3 and chapter 4. And they will settle the course throughout the Bible. So we got to stop there. We're going to stop with Abner. He has left King David in peace. He says, I'm going to go to the people. I'm going to say, you're the king. That's how we leave Abner. There will be more to come.